Hello, I'm Emily Schrod. It's Sunday, July 21st. Here's a look at the top stories from your trusted local news source. In a TV9 update, one person was arrested after a standoff Saturday evening with police. The Cedar Rapids Police Department spent several hours at the scene on the northwest side of the city. Police say a suspect barricaded themselves inside a home after a traffic stop. Now, these are some photos from a TV9 viewer Saturday afternoon. You can see a large police presence outside a home on Rogers Road, Road Northwest. Lynn County officials say police pursuit began around 615 after police attempted to make a traffic stop. Officials say the suspect then fled into a home. That standoff ended just after 10 o'clock Saturday night. The name of the suspect has not yet been released. TV9 will bring you the latest on this developing story as we continue to learn more. When we first heard about this from a viewer. We want to remind you that when you see news after alerting authorities, give us a call on Newsline 9. That number is on your screen. It's 319-365-9999. You can also send us news tips, pictures, and videos to the U News section on KCRG.com or on the TV9 News app. The Iowa Department of Corrections is looking for the public's help in locating a work release escapee. Aaron Triplett failed to report back to the Davenport Residential Correctional Facility on Friday. He's 36 years old, 5 foot 8 and a 254 pounds. He was convicted of second degree robbery in Clinton County. Anyone with information on where Triplett is is asked to contact local police. This weekend, the Mississippi River at Dubuque has dropped below flood stage for the first time in a month. That's after devastating flooding in northwest Iowa in June. This is video of flood levels earlier this month. Saturday morning, Radio Dubuque reports the rev river levels were at 16.7 feet, which is below the moderate flood stage. As of Sunday morning, river levels dropped further to 16.2 feet. And a tractor ride across eastern Iowa celebrated a 17-year-old tradition this weekend. 150 drivers spent three days traveling across Benton County for the final North Iowa tractor ride. They stopped in communities like LaPorte City to show off their tractors. One farmer says the trip has been a fun time with friends and he's loved the views. Just something about driving around the countryside at 13 miles an hour. You see a lot more and you enjoy it. Now this was the last ever North Iowa tractor ride marking the end of an era. Thanks for watching. Tune in to TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.